Hello, my loves. Welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. This is our weekly reading, which I am very stoked for. I really, really love the start of the week with you guys, the spirit, just channeling messages. And I'm realizing how much I love the collective messages because they, they actually teach me things about energy because it's an experience outside of my own. So it feels really good to be able to sit to connect. It is a quiet morning here for the most part. That's because Nova, my little power ranger of a pup, she's currently at the vet right now. So it's just me and Frank hanging out together. However, this weekend was filled with activity and energy and a lot of things going on, a lot of events going on this weekend. So it feels really nice to have a quiet moment. But I'm walking around my space and my chickens can hear me. And my roosters, when they know that I'm around, they get rowdy. Boys will be boys, am I right? So if you hear them calling in the background, it might sound a little desperate, but it's because they haven't really heard my voice this weekend and they're trying to get my attention per usual. How are you guys doing? How are you feeling? What's the vibe? I wanted to uh, clear this deck out really quickly before I started shuffling. And I will be pulling the chart from my complete guide to 2022, which has been on point thus far. I'm not surprised, but because spirit is never wrong. But um, it's just so awesome sometimes to have that extra additional support as we maneuver our way through the year. But yeah, how are you guys feeling? What's the vibe? For those of you guys that have been lighting your love candles, whoa, almost knocked that right over. For those of you guys that have been lighting your uh, love candles, what, um, how have you been feeling lately? What's coming up for you? Have you been feeling uh, blockages? Have you been be, um, becoming more aware of things within yourselves that you want to shift and, you know, challenge? Are there some text messages or phone calls that you've been receiving? Have you had anyone reach out to you with outpourings of love or confessions or anything like that? I'm really interested. Have you guys had breakups? That's the thing too. A lot of times when people are working their magic, they'll find out, um, you know, like maybe two days after they started working their magic, there's a breakup or there's a huge fight that happens within the relationship and they're just like, Jess, like if I lit this candle for love and we're having a breakup right now, why? Like, why would that happen? And that's just how magic works. When, when you set the intention for true love, when you set the intention for whatever it is that you're trying to manifest and something quote unquote bad happens, it's literally for your highest and greatest good because it's the universe trying to make a space for what no longer serves you. All right, look at that. Nine of Swords is at the very base of this deck. Let me just light this candle really quickly. This is for me, not for you guys. I just love it. Also, there's a fly in here, which is very annoying. Okay. All right, Spirit. I want to take a moment to just kind of ground myself and connect with the guides, connect with our ancestors. I'm seeing the energy of uh, celebration Believe it or not, you are not going to believe it with this Nine of Swords here, but I am seeing the energy of celebration here. I feel like there's, uh, sometimes people fear success. As I'm saying this, the candle's popping. Angels and guides from the highest lights of the universe, I thank you so much for your presence right now. I call in clarity. I call in um, pro prophetic vision. I call in vision. I call in truth. I call in peace and love. I ask that you speak to me clearly so that I can deliver these messages over to the collective and that anybody who's listening now or watching now that they, that they receive the message that is rightfully designed for them, I ask that you give them the wisdom and the discernment and the clarity to know the difference between what is right and wrong for them. I ask that you speak to me with, with clear, with clarity. 
I ask that I be open and I ask that you protect my energy as I'm channeling these messages. Angels, guides, ancestors from the highest lights of the universe, I ask that you talk to me about this Nine of Swords, what's going on here. Honestly, something something good actually happened or something good is happening. It feels like it's giving me six of wands. It's giving me major success, ma major celebrity. I don't I don't that's what's coming through. It's someone on top of the world right now. It's some I just heard you have a lot to gain or you have gained a lot in a in a fraction of of time. Like really quickly something happens. I don't know if someone worked their magic or has been praying and now it's happening now, like it's happening right now. So there's a bit of angst. There's a bit of adjustment that needs to happen. There is this, I, I'm actually seeing the, the, someone is like walk, like someone is standing on something. Like it's like higher up, like you got, you leveled up and the ground that was underneath them started to crumble. I'm actually getting kind of like a vision of Super Mario when you're playing the video games and you navigate Mario to the next level because the ground beneath him is going to crumble. And even though that's for his safety, even th though that's for his highest, you know, and greatest good, and it's a blessing and it's what you wanted in order to defeat, you know, the obstacles, in order to defeat the odds, there's still this level of like angst because where you once were is no longer there. And you just, there's this moment of paralysis is what it is I'm getting. There's this moment of paralysis, this this moment of, it's not stagnant, it's a brief moment to collect yourself, to collect your bearings, to ground yourself before someone says, okay, if I am successful, if I go this far, I can't turn back, I can't go back to where it was that I came from. And even though you know that you're meant for greater, it still gives you a little bit of angst because you're just like, and that's okay. Spirit is acknowledging the fact that it's good and right and the perfect time for you to feel what you're feeling right now before you have to jump to the next. There's this moment of like catching your breath. Someone won something really, really big. Someone won something really significant and they're worried about the level of celebrity that they're going, that they are now facing. That's the first message that's coming through. Spirit, speak to me past that. Okay, I heard all of the all of the lights in here, baby. I'm hearing all of the, wait, turn on the lights in here, baby. You know what I mean? Want you to see everything. Um, I don't know what that song is, but I'm hearing that. All of the lights. You're afraid. If you want it, you can have it for the rest of your life. Some of you guys are something is being enlightened in your life right now. And it's so funny. Because I'm and I'm getting this like download, this surge of energy, which is exciting. But your first reaction is to process the excitement, and it's like it's actually making you feel tumultuous. It's actually making you feel anxiety. I also just heard briefly someone is experiencing a panic attack for the first time, or they're like it's like an unprovoked anxiety attack. So if you are feeling this, this is spirit telling you you're actually on the right path because there's something, it doesn't feel bad, you guys. It doesn't feel bad at all. It feels really good. It feels unprovoked, but it's because your spirit, man, is picking up on something that you can't see right now. Hmm. I feel like something was exposed. The lights turned on. Like the lights turned on in your head or the lights turned on in your blessing. The lights turned on in your path. And it's, it's kind of like that feeling of like, oh, like when you, sh when you cover your face, when the, the light is too bright and you're, you, you need to adjust. There's this level of adjustment this week. I forgot to pull up the guide this week. You're going to need to adjust. Let's pull up the guide real quick. Okay. Okay. We are in April. Pardon my nails. You guys, I've been doing a lot of mixing body butters and it's just not. the vibe okay all right let me read to you this week's message it says venus is entering pisces this week on the fifth venus entering pisces this week on the fifth is creating sparkling and charming energy in the planets that i'm sure you'll enjoy venus feels stunning when she's in pisces energy because this gives her the space to feel beautiful and connect with her innermost romantic side the new moon was last week however it seemed as though the intentions that you set said during this time are helping to manifest beautiful and stunning vibrations in your life in the present moment. Spirit is inviting you to embrace each day with fresh new eyes and expect the best that the universe could provide for you. This expectation is heard by the universe and it responds accordingly by aligning your steps magically. 
to take you to places that exceed even your wide. That's exactly what I'm talking about, guys. That's exactly what I'm talking about. There's this, like, your, your intent, like, your energy, your physical body, your mental body is aligning with spirit, with this divine aligned path. It's, I'm, I'm actually getting, like, I'm seeing the ground and the ground is starting to sparkle. I'm literally looking out. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let's see. It's a little messy, but I'm looking out into my backyard and I'm seeing the grass. It's starting to turn into like, as if I've never taken acid before, but it feels like I'm on taking like an acid trip. I'm not encouraging you to take acid or anything like that. If you see the bucket on that corner, it's um for my chicken eggs when I go out in the morning and I pick the eggs from my from the chickens. Um so anyways. Um and it gets kind of quickly dirty in that spot because the dogs run in and out. But anyways, um yeah, I'm seeing the grass turning into it starts it's starting to glow. And every step that you take, there's little sparkles that come up. And the reason the reason why spirit is showing me this is very clear is because you're you're stepping into um, enchanted territory. The word is enchanted. This means that every step that you take is meant to provide some aura, some essence. It's meant to activate. I'm seeing this activation that happens every step that you take is meant to unlock and un un enchant something. Um, some of you guys have been locked off from a blessing for quite some time. It's been a long time. You've had some, you, you, you put yourself out. There's trial and, fair, trial and error. There's things that you've tried for and things that you failed at. It's not so much you as much as it is just bad timing or lessons that you have to learn or certain things that you have to weed through. And you're start, you started to feel like there, weren't, there wasn't anything good in the world. And that what you wanted doesn't exist or maybe you were born in the wrong generation is the specific message. Someone feels like they came in at the wrong time. And spirit, it's like everything that you do is a miss. You, you try to do all the right things and it doesn't work out. And spirit is saying like it has, what we want you to learn is that it's not always you. Like it's not, the, the way that things pan out has nothing to do with you. You may be trying, you may be praying, you may give your highest and best self, but just because you're giving your best doesn't mean that you'll receive your best. It has nothing to do with what you have done. The major lessons with, with that spirit wanted you to learn from this, and I, and I really want you guys to receive this, is that your best blessing and the worst thing that can happen to you has nothing to do with who you are as a person, your character, what you've done, what you didn't do. It's something that you are going to receive regardless. This means that it's fate, it's karma. This means that the moment that you were born onto this earth, if spirit, if spirit saw and spoke something into your life, you don't have to become anything other than yourself in order to receive it. This means that you can't fuck it up and you can't you know, advance to it by changing who you are and being this perfect vision of yourself from a logical lens, right? This means that this higher blessing, this higher gift, this reward, this magic, this this thing that is meant to happen in your life has, again, nothing to do with your actions. It has nothing to do with your thoughts. It has nothing to do with what has happened and what is happening and what will happen. It has everything to do with when divine sees that it's the right time and you're going to receive this regardless. You could be the worst person on the face of this earth and receive the, the best blessing. And this is just divine's grace over your life. This is just... God or the, the divine or the universe or your higher self or, or your ancestors saying to you that regardless of the good or the bad that you've done, you've always been worth it. And they want you to step into this enchanted territory and they want you to receive and they don't want you to doubt it. They don't want you to be fearful of it. They want you to receive this blessing. It is okay. It is time. It is safe. And every step that you take forward now, there's something that you're going to, in essence, that's going to be extracted. I'm hearing the quote, um, forgiveness is the scent of the rose that was stepped on or forgiveness is the scent that is released when you step on the rose. And what does this mean? This means that you could have something bad happen to you and it's your forgiveness. That is the, the perfume of your forgiveness. That is the real blessing. And you, you don't get defeated or you don't, you don't stop being who you are. You don't stop being beautiful. You don't stop being, you know, stunning or peaceful or grace, graceful or a, a, a high vibrational being, you know, just be, when something bad happens to you. In fact, 
the sweetest fragrance sometimes is forgiveness. Some of you guys are really stepping into a space of forgiveness and and it, I, I'm, I, it's, it doesn't come with, I heard the word complications. It doesn't come with like, I'll give this to you if you give this to me. It just, it's, this is a gift that's just gonna be given to you. For some of you guys, I, I don't know if you're gonna be able to understand the message that I'm saying, but I'm definitely channeling. Emperor Reverse is the next card that just jumped out. Again, this has nothing to do with what you what you've done, what you can do, what you should have done, what you didn't do. It's just something that is in, inherently yours, something that is to be gained, the fruit of your labor. It's like some of you guys feel like if I keep tending to this, if I keep changing this, or if I lock myself out, or if I had healthier boundaries, or if I had a different upbringing, or if I had a different, if I was in a different place or a different time, maybe I would receive a different fruit. And Spirit is saying, in this circumstance, in this event, the fruit has been yours. The sun card just showed up. It's There's really meant to be some, I'm getting the word ripe. Something is finally ripe. Something is finally ripened here. I'm also seeing with Nine of Pentacles, the Emperor reversed, there's a, a an adjustment in your diet and your lifestyle that is going to be more fruitful for you. I'm seeing black seed oil. I'm seeing avocado. A lot of fats, a lot of healthy fats. Some of you guys are exchanging thickening fats, like toxic fats for healthier fats. And this is something about the mind. This is about the lubrication of the brain, the mind, um, adjusting your diet in order to support your mental health, mental and emotional health. You want the body to be, some of you guys, forgive me, you're, you, some of you guys are really recovering from anxiety, depression, and, and eating disorders. Some of you guys have been self-punishing, self-limiting, self-restricting. I heard cooing, cooing. Your spirit is starting, is teaching you, no, spirit is cooing to you there's this cooing i don't care how old you are right now spirit is wrapping every single one of you guys in a blanket you're being swaddled something about um spirit is swaddling you you're swaddling a baby um and you're cooing to it you're rocking to that child you doing that for the child is is ultimately going to be doing that for you if you don't have a child and you want children spirit is made a promise to you to have children that you will have children. And you taking care of that child is spirit teaching you, is, is um, spirit taking care of you. And this is a gift that was just eight of cups. I knew it. I was dropping, when I was dropping Nova off earlier today, I, I was not stuck in traffic, but there was like a, a moment where I couldn't move. And um, I saw the Eight of Cups and I, I was like, I wouldn't be surprised if I saw it today. It's funny because the sun is setting here. I see it as setting, but then it's like coming up. When the sun sets somewhere, it's coming up another spot. Talk to me about the Eight of Cups. Yeah, a lot of you guys are walking away from a broken generational curse. You've been working a lot with your ancestors. I just heard um, your ancestors need to be recognized. This is um, this is your ancestors. Okay, wow, fuck, man, wow. I'm actually a little nervous to say this. I'm scared to say this. Um, it's just a feeling of fear that it is that I have. Your ancestors are afraid that when you break this generational curse that you're going to forget them, you're going to abandon them. They want to be, they still want to be a part of your journey. They still, oh man, there was like abandonment issues here. Um, they still want to, they st they're trying to tell you that they still have gifts that they want to give to you. They still have things like, even though it, they, they say that it's not just the bad with them, that there is the good with them. They want to still, they still want you to make sure that you're going to honor them. Once you cut this cord, they don't want you to neglect them, especially when it comes to the masculine or a feminine that had to show up as masculine energy. They don't want you to neglect them moving forward. Or maybe once you broke a generational curse and you move past this thing that you broke free from, you... You stopped going to your altar. You stopped honoring your altar. And once you start, when you started doing that, you started receiving. It's like it's like a, a car that 
has gas, like you've done everything. You've you've done the gas, you put the gas in the tank, you worked hard for the gas to pay for the gas in the tank, you've done the oil change, and somehow you're like, why is my car st stuttering and sputtering? That car is a metaphor and it could be serious, but it's like these, okay, you've done everything, but it's like, go to your altar. Don't neglect the ancestors. If you've come this far, if you've relied on spirit this far, if you relied on them so far, and now all of a sudden you, you entered into this next stage and you walked away from your altar, go back. The altar has been neglected or the altar needs to be dusted free from or something needs to be turned around. Like even as I'm saying that, I feel like this needs to be turned around. Something needs to be switched around or re, re -eva like evacuated, re or maybe something does need to be taken off of the altar. Or maybe there's a merging, like too many things merging on the altar. Or uh, ancestors, there's uh, also you guys, there's a lot of people working with their ancestors these days. Thank God, right? Thank God. But we're calling in a lot. We're calling, there's a lot of calling in. So some of you guys I'm hearing leveling up and it's giving me back to the vision of Mario. So they're leveling up, right? And if they're leveling up and you're lagging behind, you have to catch up. So go to your, your altar. Don't go to your ancestors just to, to pull from them, to extract from them. You, you still want to give to them because there's this feeling of abandonment. Are you pulling too much from them without giving them back in return? And I'm also seeing ripe fruit again. You giving them, and it's like a, a pension. I don't know why I heard the word pension, but it's like... um like uh, offerings, right? So kind of like in the church when you give like 20% of your like tithing, right? So whatever abundance or whatever it is that you've given or you've gained, give back, give back. Eight of Pentacles, this has a lot to do with your work. Someone received a lot of success and material abundance within their work and it's time to give back. 15 to 20%. Okay. The other thing too is relationships, definitely. Or someone has partnered up, partnered up with the perfect person when it comes to their work. This awesome collaboration, it's time to give back. Your ancestors helped you get this far. So now it's time for you to give back to them. Yeah. Two of pentacles. A lot of things coming together here. I'm hearing a lot of movement. What are you carrying? Yeah. What are you carrying on the heart? Some of you guys need to, that's probably why I heard, also heard the extraction, something that you've been normally carrying in your bag. I don't know if I'm seeing, for some of you guys, I'm seeing you you getting a lighter load. You're emptying your bag. You might. This might actually be like physical where you're carrying too much in your bag. Look, the devil card. This might be too much that you're carrying on in your bag. So it's actually impacting like your, your spine um, or switching from a, a like a um, an arm bag, like a shoulder bag to a book bag some of you guys are i'm seeing a duffel bag being because of your work or because of your relationship you're starting to move you have to move somewhere so you're packing everything up um and also i'm seeing some people downsizing where they're taking things out so there's a lot you know it, it definitely depends the devil is honestly the assessment here it's okay what do i need to not carry with me any longer especially when it comes to comfort blankets. And this is where you're gonna take a brief pause in order to reassess and reestablish, okay, this is what I need, this is what I don't need. I'm gonna clear the energy real quick. Um, for those of you guys that are wondering, because I've heard this before, I'm working with my um, energy cleansing charge spray. You can find that within the apothecary. And I'm also, today, I'm working with the Seven Powers Oil. So a lot of you guys might actually be working with Orishas as well. I'm also seeing something on the lip. I don't know why. Wow, look at that. I'm seeing something on the lip. Uh, I'm seeing, someone's getting like lip injections. It's like, um, I'm feeling like a pinch on the lip or like cinnamon on the lip. Something that makes the lips plump. Spirit just wants to acknowledge that. There's no additional message with that. There's like an adjustment or someone's doing um, like dental, something with the mouth. It's like making um, 
uh, like adjusting something, making it better, making it healthier, making it more fuller, or taking care of it. So it has to do with the lips or the mouth. And something, it's like I heard pinch the lip or a pinch of the lip or a cleft lip or something like that. Okay, spirit, talk, talk, talk. Speak, speak, speak. What do we need to hear, hear, hear? <laughs> I'm seeing um, someone pouring a cocktail. Someone's going into, I, I can relate to this myself. Um, you guys are really leveling up. You know, your your crowd is, the crowd around you, the friends around you, they, someone has leveled up. Someone just won real big. They have, they, they're in the, like, who's, who's to know type of crowd. Like, people who have ins, people who are, have access to things. Like, just next level, like, five-star, like, really next level. Um, I just heard access granted. For those of you guys that have been, it has something to do with this win or something to do with who you are as a person is being celebrated right now. And your gifts and the hard work that you've been putting in is really leveling you up. And somehow spirit is connecting you to the right people at the right time. And everybody has a connect and something that they offer. And you have something that you offer I'm hearing the who's who, and I'm hearing it now. So I'm seeing someone pouring a cocktail and just celebrating. I'm also hearing Spirit acknowledging the fact like it's important for you to celebrate the journey and celebrate the win and celebrate what's to come and what is happening. At the same time, it's they're saying it's just as important as you staying grounded and you staying connected. So it's just balance. So I don't, some of you guys are hearing that who does she or he think that they are? I heard I am who I am. Like this is, this is yours. Like this is yours. This is where you're meant to be. This is where it's meant to be. Look at that world card. Do you see what I'm saying? That just jumped right out of my hands. This is the leveling up. This is just, just, it's, it's like, Someone, this has a lot, I don't know what's going on here, but this is a lot of celebrity, a lot of celebrity, a lot of leveling up, a lot of advancing. Someone is about to work with the right person and all of a sudden it just connects you to, connects you to who you need to connect, which just sets you up for life. Or once you have, once you have received this recognition, you can now relax and spirit wants that for you. These cards needed to jump out. So let's talk about it. There's some cleansing spray on it. Nine of cups. Two of pentacles. Star card and page of pentacles reverse. This is exactly what I'm saying. Someone leveled up into new celebrity um, celebrity dumb. Um, received recognition, received a reward. I just heard the word finally, finally. There's someone who has been really guessing, second guessing this. For those of you guys, I just heard, well, just what about me? Okay, then this is not your message right now. Um, because this is a very specific message. This is something very specific. Someone, someone's more than one, um, they have just leveled up into like the final, like the final, like th this is someone who it's like rags to riches. It doesn't even make quote unquote make sense for them to have this level. And like, why, why wouldn't it make sense? Spirit, I'm questioning it because I think that it's not, I feel like it's messed up to question someone's success. Like why couldn't they do it? And there's this thing of like, I felt this in my spirit the entirety of my existence here on earth. And now it's finally here. Now it's finally happening. Um, Spirit is telling you, really take some time to take a breather. I said this in the very beginning of the reading. Take some time to take a breather and to acknowledge because there's this level of activation. And they want you to be clear. They want you to be precise. They want you to work your magic, so to speak. And what does that mean for you? Some of you guys are um, working with you know, maybe you're, you're getting hired by someone to do artwork, or maybe you're going on a TV show. It, it feels very, it feels very A-list though. Um, Spirit is saying, acknowledge, acknowledge. Um, for, for the rest of you guys, there's this, 
I don't even want to try and force this message. I'm never going to force the message. This is a very specific message, and I'm just going to honor that right now. Let's flip these cards over and see. Look at that. Look at that. The Hermit card and the Two of Swords reverse. This is what exactly what is it I'm saying. Take that breather really quickly before things start advancing. And that's the thing too, is that spirit is showing me this, this role. It's not a roller coaster. It's kind of like a, like a coal mind thing. Um, and it's like, so you could have a straight path or like a few small curves. They want you to have that versus like a, an actual roller coaster. You can actually control how fast this goes, but in order for you to control it, you need to stabilize. You need to stabilize the center. Acknowledge and celebrate how far you've come and what you've just leveled up to. Right? For some of you guys, it's actually spiritual and enlightenment, spiritual advancement. And there's this level of like, oh my God, oh shit, what's next? Or you you really want to hit the ground running, but you you let's say if this is someone who's celebrating and pouring um, champagne or pouring shots and whatever, just celebrating how you celebrate, they take a moment to be like, wait a minute, I'm, I'll be right back. I have to go to the bathroom. And then they go to the bathroom and they just literally in their gown or in their outfit or whatever they're wearing, they sit on the bathroom floor and they pray to God and they connect with God or they connect with the divine, they connect with their ancestors and they, and they give that recognition, they give that prayer and they give that as an offering and spirit is like, don't neglect that when we take you to this next one. Now that you have advanced, don't neglect that prayer. Don't neglect that, you know, there's this this, this fear, again, that I'm, I keep picking up on, on your ancestors are afraid of you forgetting about them, neglecting them, or being so distracted by the success that they've helped you get to. And, um, you know, keep, if you have to set an alarm, do it. But give them your heart. Give them that moment. It could be 10, mo 10 minutes or seven, 7 minutes or whatever. But something has really been advanced here. And as I'm saying that, my ear is starting to chime. So this is news that is going to be coming through with something specific that needs to be here, like heard and held right now. Spirit talk. Spirit speak. They said congrats. <laughs> Congratulations. Something is in order, like... um. Like celebrating you is in order. Something something about celebrating you. What's the message for the rest of the group? Congrats is in order is what I just heard. For some of you guys, you're about to level up. And in your life, you got to claim it. You got to claim it. You got to call it in. Wow. Justice card and the moon card. Talk to me about that. You got to claim it. Claim it, claim it, claim it. Some of you guys are having fear. <sighs> Some of you guys really need to start working with the Orishas again. This is my seven powers intention oil. I just heard respect, respecting them. What, and you're like, well, I do respect them. I don't talk shit. I won't, but a part of this process of respecting them is honoring them and not taking from them. If you do that, they will take from you. That's a warning and a, and, a, and a promise. It's very, very serious here. I feel like we need to clear out the energy. Just take a moment and connect with them if you can. If you don't work with your ancestors, then, or I'm sorry, if you don't work with your the Orishas, then work with your ancestors. What messages do they need you to hear right now? What are you seeing? It's so funny, I'm seeing an ice cream cone melting over someone's hand. <laughs> it's just giving me childhood. The ability to relax. Wow, I just saw something clear.
there's something about putting the business aside and starting working on the family. That's beautiful. Yeah, Four of Pentacles, letting go of... Some of you guys are really being challenged by spirit right now to let go of your sense of security. Um, but really, that's not going to make you secure. It served when it was time to serve. This is someone who's been a workaholic or has been known to show up for the world in one way. And now spirit is guiding you to let go of that because there is... And you're actually having fear because you're like, what if I do let go? Then how can I... If you're guiding me from work into creating a family then how can I support my family and this is where spirits like can you just I need you to trust me and let go of what it is that you're holding on to because it's time you've been praying for this for a long time so if this is what you've been praying for then you need to trust us and letting go because you got to give your all into this you've leveled up you've accomplished you've 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 already set the foundation you can't keep working on the foundation the foundation is firm right now you think you're going to keep working on the fountain? Look at this. Eight of Pentacles. You guys are just stuck on work mode. I can't let go. I can't let go. I can't let go. I can't let go. Nine of Cups reversed. I can't let go. I'm scared. Seven of Pentacles. You're so funny. So funny. Spirit is acknowledging that right now. It's okay. It's literally okay. There's something that you've been holding on to. Nine of Wands. Look at that. I don't want to be caught off guard. Mm-hmm. Yep. Fear. Yep, don't worry. You'll be provided for, I promise. Let me scoot this back. <sighs> Look at that. The king and the queen of pentacles. Both of them are reversed. How funny. Page of swords. It doesn't make sense to me. I need to have deeper understanding. Look at that. The world card, of course. The <laughs> ten of swords. <laughs> this reading is hilarious. Ace of cups reversed again. Okay. Clarified um, eight of pentacles for me, spirit. The moon card reversed. And the Nine of Cups, Two of Pentacles. Okay, hold on. Uh, I just heard um, Disorder. Okay, if you stay too much in a space where you're currently at, right? Don't stay... Okay, Spirit is clearly talking about the foundation, right? The root. If you keep working on the root, if you keep working on the business plan, if you keep tweaking it and if you keep trying to fix, adjust, and reassess and reevaluate the and tinker with the foundation of what you have been working on, guys, you're going to make it disordered. You're going to disable it. So now it's time to step back and see and acknowledge the fact that it is actually good. It is actually right. It is actually ripe. It's actually ready. And I use that word ripe already. Look at that two of cups. It's time. It's time. Stop looking at what you need to change within yourself and just realize that you are, you are good and you are right as is. There's nothing more that needs to be added. There's nothing that needs to be taken away. You are ready. You are solid. You are stable. It is here. It is present. It is now. Acknowledge the ancestors and just promise them and or your Orishas or the Orishas and promise them that you're going to continue to carry on with them because they're ready to give you the blessing in your life. Look at that. The star card is showing up again. This is the hope, the wish, the promise. It is being fulfilled. Look at that. King of Cups. You are emotionally ready. You are emotionally grounded. You're emotionally stable. These are the prayers that have already put, been put out there that are manifesting now, growing now. Are you ready? Look at that. Page of Cups. Look at this. See how the energy is switching up and changing the strength card. You are ready. Strength card, Page of Cups, King of Cups, the Star card. You are ready here, present right now. Chariot card. Some of you guys are really, really terrified about it's just going too fast and switching things up. It's okay. It is okay. Look at that. Eight of Cups, Ten of Swords. It's what you have to say goodbye to. It's what you have to surrender. It's what you have to let go of. Someone needs additional support, and I get that. The Lover's card. Yeah, look at that. The Lover's card reversed, and also the, the World card. So many of you guys have been doing this solo dolo for too long. Or maybe you've been having to sacrifice relationships or sacrifice career for a relationship. Something is going to be switched here. Something is going to be, sorry, something is going to be moved or maneuvered and, and turned around so that instead of you focusing on just this, you're going to start focusing on this and all of it's going to come together. Page of Swords, talk to me about it. The judgment. Yes, this is awareness, acknowledgement, re receiving, clarity, 
recognition, all of those things are happening right now. And then we have, yep, four of pentacles and king of swords reverse. Don't rely exclusively on your logic in order to make sense or for you to understand or for you to be able to see how you'll be supported during this time in your life. This is soulmates, twin flames coming together. Focus, focus, focus. This is the business, um, you know, leveling up. Yeah, cat, independence, healthy boundaries. This is someone's breaking through with re reward and recognition and receiving, you know, the next stage, the next cycle, the next blessing, abundance. The hawk, messages, omens coming through, clarity. This is also going to be a spirit guide. You might see a hawk while you're celebrating. When you see that hawk or when you see that bird circulating, it's time for you to go to the bathroom or you go to your prayer space or your, your altar and pray really quickly and connect with those guides. Communicate with them communicate there's going to be a message coming through but also you need to every communication that you receive as you're advancing right now you need to bring it to spirit you need to bring it to your guides the disruption card just came up this is to make sure that as you're kind of you know maneuvering and and, and as you've leveled up you guys we've been talking about the foundation for so long but spirit is telling me that the root is healthy the root has been secured right so as you have now leveled up we're not working on the foundation anymore now we're working on the creativity now we're working on what we can build what we can contribute what we can give to others what we're going to be giving to ourselves the foundation has already been secured now it's time for something to be created here and shared here so every step of the way um, you don't want to be disrupted by that. You don't want to be distracted by that. You don't want to be shook by that because, and you don't want to keep tweaking this. So you call on spirit, you call on your guides, you call on your ancestors and acknowledge them so that as, as things are occurring and as things are revealing themselves and pouring into your life, it doesn't shake you up or, or, or set you running. I don't know why I'm hearing like someone just seeing something and just kind of like running. Some of you guys aren't running away from, you're running towards, and they just want you to have peace. Look at this, the swan card transformation, trusting the psychic gifts. This is showing me that this has been something that's been going, um, you know, revealing itself to you over time. And you're really starting to see it. You guys are no longer, we've been talking about working on the foundation. The foundation has been s solidified, right? So now you, now that the foundation is there, now it's time for you to create. Now it's time for you to share. Now it's time for you to believe in yourself. And this has to work on, this is going to work on your self-confidence. You being able to receive recognition. You being able to receive this love. You being able to not keep um, working hard to prove yourself, but you just st owning and standing in your truth. This is a very powerful reading right now. And a very powerful time in your life. Let's see what we've got here. Education. We have goblins. We have field of dreams and home. Yeah, so I just felt a feeling of fear from someone. And I'm seeing the number 10. This has everything to do with you letting go of something. And you're just like, I'm not ready. It's You are. <laughs> you are. Just be gentle with yourself right now. Something is calling you out. It's these goblins, man. It's your insecurity. It's the doubt. And for some of you guys, if you need it to, it to be phrased in another way, it's the devil. Like, it's the devil. The things that make you question yourself and doubt yourself. And it's just like, it's just the things that stop you. It's just the things that stop you. But it's literally like you can take the devil out of your bag. Remember we saw that earlier? It's like you're unpacking or you're going into a new home. You've been working on this a long time. You've been learning this. You've been ready for this. You've been prepared for this. And now it's stirring to life. All right, spirit. Talk to me about from the notes from the universe on love and connection and then we'll close this reading out speak to us with clarity what a powerful moment right now it's not only about being right so it's interesting because when i was shuffling for that i was um seeing someone going back to their altar and kind of revisiting the intentions that they set from from square one like from the from the beginning, the foundation. And how many years did it take for you to get from there to there? And where are you at right now? There's like this reassessing and just spirit is saying like, look what can happen in that amount of time. And if that time is going to unfold regardless, 
make sure that you are confident and make sure that you're speaking life into yourself. And that's the other thing too. Go to the seven powers or go to your ancestors and talk to them now about having the confidence for you to be able to show up and show out. <laughs> As Franklin looks over, he's such a cutie. So it's not only about being right, you guys, which means that for me right now, some of you guys don't actually need to be right, which means that you're, you have this fear that you can't. You, you have this fear that, you know, this can't happen or this doesn't happen or whatever the case is. What is it, Bubba? What is it? <laughs> Good boy. When I tell you guys, Franklin used to be the quietest puppy. He was always a space cadet. And then one day he barked and he like scared himself with his own bark and his own growl. And now he still has this fear sometimes when he speaks out and growls. So whenever he does, I encourage him because I want him to, you know, speak his truth and to speak up and just not be afraid of his own bark. And when he barks, it's very powerful. Good boy, Franklin. <laughs> I'll never forget when he was a puppy and he barked and growled for the first time. And he was like, oh, what was that? And maybe that's a message for you guys. Whoopsie. To not be afraid of your own voice. To not be afraid of your own bark. To not be afraid of what you can say and who you can scare and what you can do. <laughs> You're not powerless in this situation at all. Okay, spirit, we're back. Hmm. Yep, you've got time and yeehaw. This, when I say you've got time, this literally how I'm reading this is right now is your time. You've got time, meaning right now you have time. The time, it's your time. You've got the time, it's here right now present. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. You okay, puppy? He's so cute. Um, and yeehaw is just like right now you're on this, this Bronco, you're, you know, jumping around, you're bouncing around and you're holding on and, you know, you've been training for this your whole life. You've been learning, you've been ready, you've been mastering, and now you're leveling up. Now you're graduating. Now you're taking it to the next step. Now you don't have to keep learning. Now you can just advance and connect. And those spaces where you used to ask people questions, now you have the answers. So step in, step in on that. And some of you guys are afraid of saying the wrong thing or doing the wrong thing. And spirits like you're you're not giving yourself the recognition and the acknowledgement. We're going to talk to you this entire time of what you need to hear, see, know, and share. The only thing that you need to work on right now is being confident that you are, as we're advancing you, because this is not even a question, as we're advancing you, that you know that you are, you have what it takes and that you are self-assured and that you are self-aware. And the only thing that you need to, to, to do in order to continue yourself, um, keep yourself, you know, propelled and moving forward, even though it's not about that, because um, a lot of you guys know that it's not about you. It's about divine wishes and hopes and, you know, dreams and fulfillment over your life that were spoken to you as a, from a child. But the only thing that you need to do right now is to communicate with your ancestors, communi communicate with the Orishas or give them honor or recognition where it's due. And you will be fine moving forward and pause, pause often. Pause often in order to connect with them, in order to pray, even if that means disconnecting for a little bit and going into your prayer closet or going into your altar or going to a bathroom in order to give a prayer and recognition. What do you see? Is it a squirrel? See how he's a little cautious? He's always cautious with his... Good boy. <laughs> so cute. All right, guys, I'm sending you all of my love. Um, this video, by the way, is sponsored by Dossier. They're a perfume company. They're great. Um, you, They have amazing selection of perfumes all on their website. I'll link it down below. For those of you guys that have tuned in, you can find the coupon code. It's 10 Bahati Life that you can use on their website in order to get 10% off. Also, if you need to work your magic or work with candles or find your voice like Franklin is right now, you can find anything to help you with that. All the things that can, that can help you with that on Bahati Life website. Also, I've launched Queen Bee Homestead. <laughs> Honey, if you're going to get him, get him. Hold on. Go see. Go see. You gotta go see. Good boy. <laughs> Cute. Ow, son of a bitch. <laughs> Ow. 
I just hit my knee so hard. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I love the shit out of you. You know I do. Um, I'm going to go ground myself and go for a walk for a little bit because I do feel like a little space cadet today. <laughs> Clearly, as my chickens are calling out. Um, oh, yeah. Queen Bee Homestead, where the body butters are going to be. It's pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool. Um, yeah, if you guys need me, you can find me at bahadilife.com, where I'm there working on my magic. And if you want body butters, you know, the release date for that will be sh soon, shortly. And, uh, yeah, I'll link all those things down below. I'm a space cadet. Uh, let me know if this resonates. Oh, um, the message that <laughs> message, the message that I would love for you guys to comment down below is the word communication or ancestors or Arisha. So choose one of those three words, please, please. Um, you know, give, give back to the channel too, if you can. I don't ask for money. I don't ask for, I do ask for, you know, good energy, but if you can, please comment down below the word communication, Arisha, or ancestors which ones do you resonate with the most and honestly guys be confident believe in yourself the only thing that is going to stop you is you at this moment in time and you just not feeling like you're good enough and you not feeling like you can't speak up or that you know you're gonna mess it up or that you're just spending so much time working on the root when the root has been secured, we've been working on the root for a long time, and now it's time to take it to the next level, and spirit clearly wants us to level up, or is leveling us up. In the meantime, I will send you all of my love. If you need me, you know where to find me, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.